Are you tired of starting your to-do list and you're paralyzed by the twin villains of procrastination and laziness? Trust me, you are not alone. Today, we're going to be peeling back the layers of these universal struggles and we'll introduce you to philosophies and techniques to overcome regret and self-blame, poor performance, stagnation in your personal growth, and a decreased productivity. Welcome back to the Quick Brain Podcast. I am your host and your brain coach, Jim Quick. Today, we're diving into Japanese Zen secrets as we explore seven gentle yet powerful techniques that have the potential to transform the way you approach productivity and life. Each technique carries with it a unique philosophy, a cultural wisdom that has stood the test of time. First up is the concept of Kaizen, which stands for small improvements and how they have a big impact. Remember, little by little, a little becomes a whole lot. Imagine a life where progress isn't measured in leaps and bounds, but in tiny, consistent steps. Kaizen, at its core, encourages us to focus on small improvements every day. It's becoming 1%, just 1% better each day, rather than aiming for perfection right from the start. Remember, 1% compounded over the course of a year, 1.01 times 1.01, 365 times, equals a 37 multiple. You're 37 times better just improving 1% at anything over the course of one year. By setting small achievable goals and embracing small gains and celebrating those, we pave the way for lasting success and we train ourselves in becoming more productive. Number two, the next technique is something we have already discussed before on our podcast. It's called Shinrin Yoku. Shinrin Yoku, otherwise known as nature's healing touch. Doesn't that sound really great? The Japanese words Shinrin means forest. Yoku means bath. And they come together to create an experience where we spend time outdoors surrounded by the healing embrace of nature. It's not just a walk in the woods, it's a profound connection with the environment that can rejuvenate the mind, body, and spirit by reducing our stress and anxiety levels. And who doesn't want more of that? Number three, moving forward, we will explore the familiar term Ikigai also known as the Japanese way of discovering your reason for being. Now that sounds pretty profound, but this concept holds the key to our reason for being. Iki meaning life and gai describing our value or our worth. Ikigai is the driving force that gets us out of bed each morning. The four rules of Ikigai provide a roadmap do what you love, do what you're good at, do what the world needs, and do what you could be paid for. Passion is the intersection of what you love and what you are good at. Mission is the intersection of what you love and what the world needs. Profession is the intersection of what you are good at and what you can be paid for. Vocation is the intersection of what you could be paid for and what the world needs. Bringing these four points together will help you discover your ikigai and set you on your personal growth and discovery journey. Are you a high achiever constantly seeking that next level of success? Welcome to the Quick Success Program. It's a deep dive and support system to master your life and scale to new heights in personal and professional achievement. Included is our exclusive monthly book club where we process transformative ideas from amazing books to level up your learning and your life. We also bring the author to the club to answer your burning questions. 
You can also participate in monthly live coaching calls with me where your questions meet my decades of expertise. Simply go to quicksuccess.com, that's K-W-I-K success.com and choose the plan that works best for you. The fourth technique is Wabi Sabi. Wabi Sabi known as finding beauty in imperfection. The philosophy of Wabi Sabi is where imperfection is celebrated. Instead of chasing perfection, Wabi Sabi encourages us to find beauty in the flawed and imperfect aspects of life. It's the cracked ceramic filled with gold, symbolizing the magnificence found in life's imperfections. In practice, you don't need to wait for the perfect timing, just start. Many of us hold ourselves back because of where we came from and then obstacles we have already faced and will likely face in the future. When in reality, it's our imperfections that will make you stand out and it will fuel your brilliance. The fifth technique is Shoshin. Shoshin meaning embracing the beginner's mindset. Remember, your mind is like a parachute. It only works when it's open. Shoshin is a concept rooted in Zen Buddhism, calls to the approach that life with a beginner's mindset. In the words of Shunrin Suzuki, in the beginner's mind, there are many possibilities, but in the expert's mind, there are few. It's about keeping our minds open, empty, and very receptive to the endless possibilities that surround us so that creativity can flow. Being a continuous student and allowing yourself to learn with an open mind will set you ahead of the crowd. Second to last is the practical wisdom of Hara Hachibu teaching us to stop eating when we're 80% full. By avoiding the excesses of indulgence, we aim for satisfaction without the lethargy that comes from overconsumption. It's a mindful approach to nourishing our bodies and our brains and avoiding the pitfalls of feeling lazy or sluggish. The quick brain community already knows that maintaining a good diet is a huge factor when it comes to our physical and our mental health. The seventh and final technique is Ganbaru, the spirit of doing your best. This is a concept urging us to do our best and persevere through tough times. It's about patience, tenacity, and a commitment to excellence. In the face of challenges, Ganbaru empowers us to keep going, unlocking our full potential with unwavering perseverance. Consistency is the key to achieving your goals. Our journey today has been a reminder in the pursuit of a fulfilling life. It's often the small intentional steps that lead to the most profound transformations. I challenge you, embrace the wisdom that resonates with you and let it be your compass as you navigate the complexities of life. I want to thank you for joining us for this episode of the Quick Brain Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe leave a review, and share with those who might find value in these timeless philosophies. And here is one small, simple step. Go to jimquick.com forward slash more. This link is in my Instagram profile, and you'll see there a free masterclass on speed reading, three videos on how to improve your memory to remember names, easily remember client information, how to give a speech without notes, our brain animal quiz, and so much more. Remember, knowledge by itself is not power. It becomes power when we what? When we apply it, we take small, simple steps. So I challenge you right now to go to jimquick.com forward slash more, subscribe to our newsletter. Every single week, we send you my favorite brain tips to be able to level up your life and of course, your learning. I'm your brain coach, Jim Quick. Thanks for tuning in this episode. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, be limitless.